Hey everyone, I came out to do the readings and sure enough by the time I got set up it starts to rain them out here. Well I'm safe under here but I don't think you'll be able to see me. gonna work. I'm gonna take us back inside. Well, hi everyone. How's everyone doing? <clears throat> I've been trying to do this for a couple days now without any luck so far, <laughs> but it's not for lack of trying. I took all my stuff out last night and was going to do on, went on the deck out back and got out there and it started pouring down rain. And I mean, it's covered, which didn't bother me at all, but all that noise, I, you couldn't hear what I was saying. So I brought it in and started doing them in here. And read them for about an hour and a half before I noticed I hadn't hit record. <laughs> so this, it, this is recording now. And uh, let's see where this gets. Okay. Lady Nighthawk is up first. And she didn't have any particular type of reading she wanted done. She said, use my intuition. So, uh, what my intuition is kind of saying is uh, use the runes, the Elder Futhark. Which is what uh, I have here. And let's see what they have to say. Slight push in that. And a good bit of push in that one. So we got three extra ones out of that. I got this one. This one. 
and this one. Okay, now it's uh, Gable here. This uh, means it represents uh, like the honor and connection between two people when they uh, exchange gifts or kind of like a person has with the gods, the honor they give the gods for giving them life and that, that kind of honor. Um, so this, um, this indicates a blessing is coming your way. Maybe a partnership, um, relationship thing going on. I don't know. Um. Probably going to be kind of of an emotional nature. All right. But now this next one is Manaz. And because it's not upright, it's, uh, it kind of indicates that uh, you may come up with, uh, up against some obstacles that you won't get any help with. You won't be able to find anyone to help you. Next one is Hagalaz. Um, that indicates that uh, time and your situation is going to be constricting. Um, Eventually, it'll flow smoothly, but uh, it could in indicate a delay um, or disruption in your plans. Um, if you're considering taking a risk, beware. Your plans are going to be disrupted. Next is Thurisaz, reversed, uh, which is going to mean a loss of some sort is coming. Um, perhaps um, someone's going to be betray you. Um, and in fact, the betrayal will be of a nature well where where they'll know personal information about you and use it against you. Okay, it, uh, it's telling you um, in order for success, there must be a, a natural flow um, in the task at hand. Um, You want to make use of our good intentions and uh, everything to achieve your success. Um, and it'll be a gradual change, but a change for the better. And it ain't going to be easy. It's going to take hard work and planning and effort. And uh, if someone tries to give you any common sense advice, listen to it. All right. I hope that made some sense for you. Next we have Kim Fitzgerald.
and she wanted uh, the soul's journey. So let me draw her a card. And uh, see what it gives us. card will be acceptance I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change that's a good card for everybody we all have to do a lot of accepting of other people and right now your soul is learning acceptance. This may force you to feel out of control in a situation or with another person in your life. Just realize that the universe has given you this incredible opportunity to release control. Perhaps doing so will help you realize that there is a rhythm, a rhyme, or reason to everything in life. Rather than thinking that there are accidents which are occurring, refer to these conditions at moments of divine design. Maybe it's a person or a situation that you do not agree with right now. For the moment, and instead of having a knee-jerk reaction based on an emotional response, stop, step back, observe, and make an attempt to understand both sides of the equation, which is an incredible gift for you to practice tolerance, grace, and patience. Realize that although you have come to accept a situation or a condition, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are condoning a behavior or that you support it. You see it for what it is and recognize that there is something rich to learn from it. All right, Kim, that was quite a mouthful. I'm surprised I got through it without <laughs> having too much problems. Normally I get all tongue tied. Next. Uh, two people wanted these, uh, Christine Brown and Patty Smith both wanted the Gypsy Witch fortune-telling cards. So let's pull them out. I'll do Christine first. Christine, this card represents your past. And this says, 
The lilies forecast a happy life, but family sorrow is surrounded by clouds. Lying above the person signifies virtuous Lying above the person signifies a virtuous life, but when under indicates immortality. And there's your your lily. I don't do those type of readings, so this is in the past. Um, Overall, things have been pretty happy with you. Um, I guess there's been some family problems uh, clouding your family, uh, maybe tragedies. Um, let's see what's going on right now. Right now it says, the book presages the discovery of mystery affecting the person for the better by in a in a degree governed by the distance i do not understand that one completely so since i don't let me pull another one Okay, the ring, when to the right of a person, is an unerring indication of a rich and happy marriage, but lying to the left, disappointment in love. I'm pulling this in, instead of this, but so far, um, I haven't seen a representative card. So that's not telling me anything. Hmm. The letter is a good sign of tidings. When near and when touching indicates unexpected good fortune. Hmm. So I'm assuming by letters, they mean the K and the Q or the J, since I drew you two for that one. So that'd be two letters side by side, touching, so to speak. Uh, so it indicates in the future, unexpected good fortune is headed your way, Christine. So there you have it. All right. Patty. Well, this speaks of representing a gentleman. So, Patty, I'm going to draw you another one for that one. Um, the sun near signifies happiness and popularity. Near snakes, mics, and dark side of cloud presages vexation. The fish is the emblem of riches throughout stocks, but if distant, it foretells failure and disaster.
And the last one said, for your future, the roads turn to the dark clouds foretells misadventures, but far from the person, the evil consequences may be adverted. And what that's saying, it indicates that look out for omens. Um, it can tell you whether or not, you know, or how well your future is going ahead. Um, watch the signs. They should be pretty clear. If it's good signs, then your road ahead is going to be smooth. You get bad signs, and you might want to consider postponing a trip or changing your course of action along the way. Now, what's throwing me off is this card. Because this is supposed to be a gentleman, a male, a man. And everything seems to be in reference then to that representing you. But uh, the problem is I, I don't think you are. <laughs> So, hmm. maybe it's in reference to your more masculine side. Um, boy, that one's kind of got me stumped. And the fish being right beside it indicates something good. It shows plenty, bounty in your future. Um, less opportunities for disaster to come along. Um, It does warn you down the road. Look out for omens. And because this card, where it's located at, you have more of a chance to avoid disaster. If that makes any sense. All right. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. I got a little bit sidetracked. Um, got a surprise package. And I had to open it and, well, <laughs> I got very sidetracked about six, seven hours later, here I am. Okay, Thomas wanted now the Wiccan runes or the witches runes, so...
Okay. So Thomas, what it seems like it's saying so far from this first rune is that you've come to an intersection in your life. Um, it might be a time of arguments, negativity, um, important decisions to make, uh, blocked paths maybe. But on the flip side, also opportunities. Um, but the bad thing is, when it, I say blocked paths, it means it is blocked. There is uh, no going through it. You have to take another direction. Yes, the way you'd like to go is not passable. So uh, you need to try another route. Now the moon, it talks about change. Um, You might have uh, strong feel feelings of uh, intuition right now, uh, maybe dreams. Uh, you might even notice some, uh, some abilities that you didn't realize you had. Um, emotions might be high. Um, I think you kind of had it all plotted out on your path and this blocked path is really shifting the way everything's looking and it's a little crazy. Um, you know, things are changing and it's not really making any sense maybe uh history might be repeating itself as i said your intuition might be high right now pay attention to it you want to follow it um if you dream, your dreams may have spe special messages for you. Um, there might be a lot of mystery and secrecy going on right now. Um, but now is now's the time to, to kind of allow you to get in touch with your emotional side. Okay, so now everything's been crazy, unexpected, not the way you had planned it until now. It's going to uh, get back under control a little bit. You're going to get some guidance from somebody. Um, Maybe something you're wishing for or wanting really bad. Maybe a gift. Um, it's something positive. A long-term dream of yours you're going to make into reality. Um, it's a lofty dream. But it's a type that it's okay to have and it's achievable. Um, you know, and even if your, your dreams are too high, there will be at least um, a reasonable amount of manifestation and results that you're seeing of the direction in which your dreams were intended to go. 
Okay, you might not reach your goal, but you might reach a step in that direction. It's one step closer. Um, once again, it's talking about a gift. Um, someone may act as your guiding light and lead you. Now, there's been a lot of uh, emotions involved in all this. They've been high. And it's not going to change. Because um, this is the rune of romance. And we all know that's a negative thing, of course. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to make this rune a negative thing. I guess because romance can be blinding sometimes. I don't know. But it's also in three rings. It symbolizes life, death, and rebirth. Or love. Okay. But it warns you now, something you've been passionate about might turn into a obsession. Um, there's two different people coming together here, and squabbling is natural. Um, you know, different points of view, different frames of mind coming together, and... They're trying to reconcile. And it might get you down. Don't let it get you down. Because it can have some negative effects in that way. Um... Okay. You're really getting a lot of negative runes here. I don't know why. Um, probably only one, maybe two of them so far have been positive. And this is no exception. This one is, it represents the wave. Um, it could mean, it could refer to like the land of the dead. Like, because, like in Irish mythology and stuff, they believe, they, they, they saw their land of the dead as being on another island. Um, in, in the legend of Arthur, you know, he, he is buried on an island. Um... And it can have its positive sides. Um, it can represent purification, healing, uh, creation, nourishment, travel, communication, messages from the other side even. Um, but it can also mean other things. And once again, the emotions. Think of churning water, emotions, very, very high. Um, it can it can lead to de destruction. Um, it can be very fast moving and destructive and washing away. And uh, think of it. Fast, fast moving water is often obscure down inside in the depths. So you, you don't know what's going on down there. Um, and these waters, like I said, they represent the emotions. Um,
but because of that churning action, things are unclear. So it might be a time to reflect, um, to step back and see the situation for what it truly is. Um, there could be a liar in your life, or <laughs> maybe they're just completely delusional. I don't know. Um, there are great spiritual forces of mystery going on now, and you may feel pushed and pulled. Um, don't let misunderstandings become emotional. Once again, there's that emotion thing. Um, and remember... <laughs> Great art comes from great angst. So let your, let your emotions go into any artistic endeavors, whether it's planting, planting a painting, I guess you could call it. Creating a, a portrait with your plants or yeah that's what i guess i'm trying to say or anything of that nature it's all creativity it's all experience and and experimentation and looks and feels and it all goes into it okay now this is a symbol of the woman um, it's a negative rune also, um, but it does represent creativity once again, and I'm seeing this come into play several times, uh, the creative nature, so I think what it's kind of saying is Try to channel your emotions into something creative. But I digress. Um, this represents... Uh, Passivity. Um, it could actually represent a woman in your life that you know. Um, it could represent creating something new or just a cleansing energy. And once again, with this one, we have love, relationships, um, bondings, family, um, ties, forces, bringing you together. Um, and it ends with a positive rune. Um, it's saying you can't do it alone. Um, so, you know, form good alliances with people in your life. Um, there might be a business partnership, a marriage, or some other team forming. Um, but there you go, Thomas. Yes, emotions are high. Um Relationships going on here, uh, changes, um, surprises, but channel that, that emotion into creativity. All right.
Okay. Now, next we have Sherry Nance, and she wanted the Knights Templar. And Bridget Kohler wanted a reading, and she wanted me to uh, pick the one that I thought. And for some reason, I'm thinking the Knights Templar for Bridget also. So let me do Sherry's first. And I like working with this deck. It's like perfect size. Not too big, not too small. All right. First card up for Sherry is... The Four of Swords. Next one is the Three of Swords. Or, yeah, the Three of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the Eight of Swords. A lot of swords going on here. And swords indicate a conflict of some sort. Okay. I see some peacefulness. Um, there is a certain peace. Uh, or has been here recently in your life. Uh, I, I see a test. Something is going to really test you. Um, something is going to happen. It's going to disrupt this piece. Um, and it's going to hurt. And as a result, you'll want to lash out. The test is, will you be able to control your instinct to do that? You need to return to this relaxed condition. Whatever happens here, remember, we're all responsible for our own happiness. You know, no one can make you happy or sad or anything else. If you don't want to be happy, you won't be happy. And you have to remember that. Uh, you control your happiness. Don't let anyone control that for you.
and you might want to try to get revenge. That might be what of this part of this is about. You need to try to resist that urge to uh, lash out. Um, I hope that made some sense, Sherry. All right, the first one is the Three of Cups reversed. Next, you have the Five of Pentacles. That's a cool one. I like the look of that card. Oh. And the last one is the devil. Okay, Bridget. Things are going to seem off balance. And... Not particularly a joyous time. Um, might not be terrible, but it won't be anything to write home about either, you know? It's, but things uh, won't seem to be quite stacked in your favor. And once again, over here, things are in upheaval. Except this is on more of a cosmic scale. Um, I don't quite know what's going on here, Bridget, but it's going to... Things are going to... are looking kind of... Uh, like they're going to throw you for a loop here. Also, it, it looks like uh, finances are going to become an issue. All right there, Bridget. Boy, both you and Sherry kind of got some uh, kind of downer ones there. I want to thank you again, Sherry, for this deck. It is a nice one. I just gave the reading. <laughs> Don't shoot the reader. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Um... Y'all have a blessed night. Peace, believe, because the spirits are out there. And until next time, bye-bye.